Pete Butcher. I'm Technical Support Manager for Brighter Health Network, also known as BHN. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, a general overview of the Labory Gobi Eurodynamic Unit. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been with BHN now for almost 10 years. Uh, one of my primary roles here with the company is I prov provide remote support for our Eurodynamic Specialists. Um, that go out to the practices and performs the testing. I also calibrate and maintain uh, the equipment and anything that I can't uh, repair uh, on my own, I will work with the manufacturer library to uh, get repaired. Okay, so what we're looking at uh, here is the basic Gobi unit. Uh, these are the core components. Uh, it does actually ship with uh, optional items such as an IV pole, uh, a mobile cart, a tabletop stand, or a printer. Um, the various uh, the basic components are your uh, Euro cap, your the Gobi Roam here. Uh, this is, and it sits on the hub. However, you can use an external charger with it, uh, and the laptop. And here we have the uh, air charge T dot uh, pressure transducers and EMG leads. And both of these the leads and the transducers connect to the Rome. One of the nice things about the Gobi unit is that it's portable. Uh, the components and laptop can fit into a backpack or a suitcase. Our Eurodynamic uh, specialists travel extensively with these units to various uh, clinics, practices uh, around the country. The Gobi components communicate with the laptop uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, these units are all wireless. Now as far as power goes, the uh, Rome uh, can be placed onto the charging cradle of the hub, as I mentioned earlier. But you can also use a power adapter uh, that connects to uh, the bottom. Uh, now with the Eurocap, uh, that does have to be charged with a power adapter uh, that hooks below, but uh, it is it does run off battery power. In, in fact, uh, both the um, Rome and the Eurocap run off battery power. Uh, the hub uh, right here, that does not run off battery power and it has to be consistently charged uh, with, a, with a power cable adapter. Um, so each one of these components uh, has status lights on them. Uh, the status lights indicate, uh, in this case, battery power, uh, wireless signal, and Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, the lights can vary in color depending on the status and they can flash differently also uh, for troubleshooting purposes. On the side of the hub uh, you'll find the pump and that's for the most part the major role of the hub uh, as well as serving as the charging cradle for the uh, Rome. Okay so here we have uh, the UDS program this is the actual testing software that the components communicate with. Uh, you, we can choose from different configurations. For example, uh, this one here is for a complex Euroflometry. Uh, and this one here is for a uh, systematogram with leak points and urethral profilometry. Uh, also, it does come with some varying uh, control panels. Uh, so if you want to change the uh, control panels, you can do that here. Uh, some of these that you see here, uh, for example, uh, these are some of the default ones that, that ship with uh, the software. So you can see that uh, the control panel has changed. Um, so let's go ahead and switch it back. The UDS software uh, comes with a reporter function and that allows you to print reports using the uh, pre-configured Labory Eurodynamic reports uh, or you can create your own custom reports uh, based off of their templates. Now we don't use the reporter function at BHN so I'm not going to be able to show that to you um, but what we can do is uh, export uh, data from the UDS program uh, which we then use a proprietary application to upload that test data to our web portal for, for analysis. Now one of the programs that comes with uh, the library software package is the 
Gobi Device Manager. Uh, now this does uh, a few things. Uh, one is we can see the status of our devices. Uh, it will let us know with the green check marks uh, which devices are connected. It also uh, gives us this little power cord icon and again the ROM and the Eurocap are battery powered. Uh, in this case that little icon uh, lets us know that uh, we're running off of uh, the power adapters. So I'm going to disconnect one uh, here actually. And now you can see the icon has um, gone away and I'm going to take the uh, ROM off the charger and now you'll see that that icon has also disappeared and that lets me know that neither one of these units are charging off of uh, the power adapters meaning they're not plugged in so they're running off battery. So I'm going to go ahead and put the ROM back on the charger on the charging hub excuse me and I'll go ahead and plug the ROM or the Eurocap back in I'm not sure if I said that backwards. Another thing the uh, Gobi Device Manager does is it allows us to uh, connect to uh, to a device. So if we needed to connect a different Eurocap, uh, let's say we sent one in for repair and we wanted to uh, connect a new one or a different one, uh, we would use this Bluetooth uh, option to search for the device and then uh, we would select the device and connect to it. Uh, we also use the uh, device manager for device calibration. Let's take a quick look at the ROM. Uh, that was one thing I haven't discussed yet, but um, the ROM is actually going to be uh, the part where we plug in our uh, pressure transducers. Uh, these are TDOC air charged uh, transducers. However, uh, we can also use water-based catheters with this system as well. Uh, and these are actually very easy to plug in. You can see the connections here. Cables can only go in one way. Now the colors, uh, the, the cables themselves are actually all the same. Uh, they're just color coded so and labeled so that the uh, Eurodynamic specialist or nurse can make sure that she doesn't uh, confuse which cable goes where. So here you can uh, you can here you can see the uh, cables are all plugged in and that's what that looks like. And then uh, over here on the side, we have the uh, ports for the uh, EMG leads, and those plug in uh, like this. Also very easy to plug in. So that's how that looks. Now I don't actually have one with me here, unfortunately, but normally the ROM would fit into a uh, little harness device and this will actually go around the patient's legs, uh, leg, excuse me, and then uh, we can connect our catheters and such uh, in close proximity to the patient. So let's, let's uh, talk about the advantages of the uh, Gobi. Uh, now I've already mentioned that the unit is lightweight and portable. Um, I believe you can purchase a carry bag from Labrie, but you can also just go out and uh, buy a backpack on your own. Um, another, another advantage is that it's wireless, so uh, there's no cables other than what you see here uh, to mess with and getting tangled. Uh, tests can be performed and printed on the spot, and the patient information is retained in the software. Another neat feature is that the UDS program is capable of exporting, excuse me, exporting XML data and it can be imported into other programs such as custom apps. And I'll go over that in just a minute. Another thing about the library software is that the ILIS program is both HLS7 uh, and EMR compliant. The unit's also capable of Eurodynamics and anal rectal manometry or ARM. Now, I just mentioned a moment ago that the UDS program is capable of exporting XML data, uh, which is a really neat feature because what that does is that allows our Eurodynamic specialists to be able to go to our customer's practice, uh, perform their tests, and then using the EuroConsole application, uh, which is our proprietary application that you see here on the right, uh, they can upload the test data 
along with other patient information directly to our uh, portal, which you see here on the left side of the screen. Um, the portal can uh, be used for uh, clinic staff to download uh, patient reports um, like you would a bank statement. Uh, doctors can also log into the portal and use our interpretation software to perform analysis and, and finalize their reports. We also provide interpretation services where we can have uh, an interpretation physician analyze the uploaded reports for you uh, and that way you only have to log into the portal and download your finalized reports. Uh, so if you're interested in, in those services, uh, I will put a link uh, in the video uh, at the end and you can contact us for more info. We talked about the advantages, but now let's just touch on the disadvantages. Uh, now the unit is portable, as I mentioned earlier, but it is somewhat fragile. Uh, so you do want to be careful when you're transporting it uh, so that it doesn't get crushed. Uh, and also you want to be careful when handling it in general because it can slip out of uh, your hands. For example, the Rome or the Euro cap when you're setting it up can fall out of your hands and it can hit the ground and get damaged. Another disadvantage is that there are no on and off buttons for the Rome or the Euro cap. Now there is one underneath the hub uh, that will that's an on and off switch, uh, but there are no on off switches for the Rome uh, or the Euro cap. So what that means is that during travel, uh, these will continue to run, and obviously over time the battery will drain. So uh, that's just something to consider. Obviously if you're not going very far, that's not a big deal, and you can always plug it in when you get to the location that you're going to. Now over time, the batteries will wear out on both the Rome and the Eurocap. Uh, when that happens, we can uh, simply order a new battery for the Eurocap and just uh, removing these three screws uh, and the battery is easily replaced. Unfortunately, uh, if the battery on the Rome goes out, uh, that will have to be sent into the manufacturer and they'll have to replace that at their facility. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, basic overview of the Labory Gobi system and uh, that you found it informative. I'd also like to mention that uh, Brighter Health Network, or BHN, uh, does perform on-site urodynamic as well as anal rectal manometry testing. Uh, we also have the ability to upload that test data uh, from your practice directly to our web portal where you can view those reports uh, just as you would bank statements uh, and more. Uh, so if you're interested, I will put a link here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, please check us out um, and thanks for watching. Contact us now to speak with a knowledgeable customer service representative and have all your questions answered.